Well, hello and welcome back. I'm Sean T.D. Stewart, the home gamer, and I'm here again playing Final Fantasy XIV Heaven Sword, where I last left off, I completed the quest, Devourers of Worlds. And now we're going to continue with this, with our main story quest in Heaven Sword, by talking here to Afanad, Black and the Whites. Afanad has a familiar look in his eyes, which can mean only one thing. Let's accept. So, Azizla is home to forbidden secrets, secrets accessible only to the bearers of a key which the Archbishop covets. Much as I would like to believe it's safe within the belly of the Bismarck, the Knights of the Heavens War wield primal powers. If we do not slay the whale and claim the key first, they surely will. Quite how well we go about it is another matter. As it was the case with our Battle of Leviathan, we are out of our element, and this time we have far fewer allies to call upon. Be that as it may, our customary approach still holds true. We must begin by learning more about the White. Let us each question the residents of the village and then recoup to share our findings anon. This seems like a bad idea. We need to find... We're going to battle this thing is not a battle a bull. I would have... But I also said that about a lot of other things. But this thing is like extra not battle a bull. If Netherling seek knowledge of white, then speak with Kuno Valley, foremost keeper of tears. But neglect not to present self humility and respect as sun yields to moon and moon to sun. Netherlings must greet Kuno Valley with a bow. Sorry, we're gonna find Kuno Valley. Kuno Valley. And we're gonna greet him with a bow. A greeting. An appropriate greeting. Uh, can I jump down here? Jump! Alright. And Kuno Valley is over this way. There he is, there's Kuno Valley. What ill mana beast comes before Kuno Valley and begs to hear tell? None who deserve arts. So we're gonna go ahead and bow. Let's go ahead and bow. And bow courteously to Kuno Valley. Ziffy wins at your back and sunshine to warm your brow. Travelers from below, Kuno Valley Keeper tells his your words, and she remembers. In times long ago, a land's elsewhere, before even the glad sea, the white is one among many. Newborn, he swims beside his many brothers in seas of endless water. But hated, the white is, for his brothers are pure as black. So great is their contempt and loathing that they turn upon him and rend his flesh asunder. And so he falls, only to rise again for a merciful God's race into the heaven. And there he is reborn. The white still longs for the sea to which he cannot return, but a rebirth of splinter of the divine is shed in he. And so he opens his maw. From whence came the clouds, a new sea is born. Home to him alone. Content he gazes below and see others who are as he, hated and hunted. He weeps, and in his benevolence he raises up the isles of us and Gulai guides these people to the cloud seas. Such is the tale of his rebirth and the salvation of the Vanu. May it never be forgot. But this demon which menaces the cloud sea, his rage is that of the Vundu. His hunger, that of a wild beast. The isles are his gift to us, and yet now he must consume them? Kuno Valley knows no tales like this. All right. Intriguing. That was an intriguing story. As a matter of fact. <clears throat> so interesting. He's supposedly born of the nether. Cutscene. Blah, blah, blah. Born of the sea. Raised to the heavens. He ascended. He's an ascended whale. So according to the Vanu, Vanu, the Sea of Clouds or the Floating Isles were gifts from Bismarck to his people? Gifts which he has taken to eating? Yes. Technically within his rights, I suppose. If perhaps a little ungenerous. Gods, eh? But what of you, Orphanod? Did you learn aught of value? I didn't learn a damn thing. Alas, no. That is, unless you have interest in the intricacies of Vanu sky fishing. So 
Sky fishing? My gods, that's it, off and on. My boy, I could kiss you. Uh, let's not do that. Offenod's a little young, as made clear. From what I have observed, the Bismarck is a creature of pure instinct, driven primarily by hunger. When wounded by the Imperials, it fled, but not before devouring another island to restore strength. That's what I thought. I thought it was like it ate the island to, for strength. What I propose is this. We tow a suitably appetizing island through the sea of clouds, in essence fishing for our flying whale. Once we draw Bismarck out of hiding, we shall use dragon killers to fire grapnels into the beast's hide and then reel it in close, enabling our resident Icon Slayer to engage it directly. A bold plan, Master Garlon, but an exceedingly dangerous one. Sure Sean failed to subdue the creature, he would most certainly be eaten, along with the rest of your appetizing island. Isn't every duty involve me dying? <laughs> Oh, he won't fail. If anything does go wrong, I'll be at the helm of the Enterprise, ready to tow him out of trouble. I wouldn't entrust a task like this to anyone else. And, yeah, right. Nor I. I trust you have no objections to my joining you as well. Not at all. The more the merrier. Right then, it seems the boys and I have a lot of work to do if the Enterprise is, ready to be, is to be ready for our fishing trip. Well, you two are needed to find me some bait. And not just any island, mind. I want a mouthful at most. Gotcha, man. I'll find you a mouthful of an island. Complete. I thought the Leviathan plan was a little harebrained of strapping the ships together. This one definitely takes the cake. <laughs> Could this be any more crazy? Uh, so... Thank you very much. If you're watching this on YouTube, that concludes this episode. I just completed the quest uh, titled uh, Black and the White, where you learn the story of the Bismarck, which was quite intriguing, actually. I like the story of the Bismarck. But this plan that Sid just hatched about how to attack the Bismarck, like, why is killing the Bismarck the only option here? There has to be some other option. Like, why don't we let ourselves get eaten and then we can, like, traverse the inside of the Bismarck, recover the key, and then find some other way to escape. Um, I like that idea. That would be a better strategy. And I think a, maybe a little, maybe not as creative. I don't know. Because this whole fishing with the, with the Enterprise and the island for the Bismarck is quite interesting. It's, that's creative. Um, all right, so that concludes this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Sean T.D. Stewart, the home gamer. I'll see you all again next time.